Coming up in today's new video, we take a look at one of the most ambitious metaverse projects to date and dive into how NFTs are becoming part of open world gaming. All that and more coming up next. Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome to Third World Crypto, your home of all things within the metaverse. As always, my name's Ubaid, and if you are new here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Do it! Because today, we're bringing you cars, jets, condos, sneakers, fashion, and sports, all within the same metaverse. So with that being said, grab some popcorn, and let's get this party started. But before we do, keep in mind, this is not financial advice. Mm -mm, no, no, no! Founded by 3D artist Frank Wilder comes the most ambitious metaverse project to date, Wilder World. Set in a utopian future in which society has overcome its social ills and is looking to rebuild the perfect world comes an all-inclusive metaverse project looking to bring forth a greater tomorrow. Rather than start one more site to sell NFT art, Wilder World is creating a world in which artists collaborate to build a fully immersive metaverse in which NFTs are more than just collectibles. The ethos of the metaverse is ingrained in its artistic guild, designing the metaverse for artists by artists, thus creating the most democratic and inclusive metaverse project yet. Every object within Wilder World is in itself an NFT, and with the entire metaverse being VR compatible, you can already see why Wilder World is drawing Ready Player One comparisons. The aspect that sets Wilder World apart from other metaverses is the utility attached to their NFTs. Where other metaverses are using NFTs as collectibles that merely appreciate over time, Wilder World are adding utility and use case to their collectibles by making it functional gaming accessories to their playable in-game characters. Bringing together the world's top artists to collaborate on stories, characters, landscapes and environments allowing for a more interactive use of the world. With only the world's best 3D digital artists being used and afforded the freedom to express themselves creatively, you can expect to see some of the most visually satisfying NFTs, each unique to each artist. Using a decentralized team with 70 full-time creators operating across 24 DAOs in 15 countries with another 1,000 artists and coders in the onboarding process. Their mission will be to coordinate creators and create assets for everything from avatars to condos, vehicles and skins within the metaverse. But more on that later. In collaboration with Epic Games, Wilder World's entire metaverse will be built using Unreal Engine 5. Unreal Engine allows developers to easily create high-level gaming by using their fully customizable gaming framework. This means that an entire gaming universe can be built in less time using less money as the graphic infrastructure is already built. With some of the most popular metaverse projects such as Decentraland and Sandbox making use of 2D graphics for their platforms respectively, Wilder World is in the frame of pioneering an all new 5D metaverse. The Wilderverse is being built using a state-of-the-art graphics editor with photorealistic rendering, dynamic physics effects and lifelike animation. It is the world's most open and advanced real-time 3D creation tool. Many of you will be familiar with some of the gaming titles built using a version of the software, such as Gears 5, Borderlands, Batman Arkham City, Final Fantasy VII Remake, as well as one of the world's most popular games, Fortnite. The possibilities of this technology is boundless, and if we take a look at what can be done with this software, it is second to none. With such a fresh take on the metaverse using the very best in gaming technology, Wilder World and Unreal Engine software transcends the pioneering era of the metaverse, pushing it into the realm of mainstream gaming. From first person shooters to open worlds, it is clear that Unreal Engine is the very best in animation development, offering groundbreaking visuals and gameplay, placing Wilder World in a league of its own. Introducing Wyami, 
the first hub of the Wilder World experience. Built using LiDAR technology, Wilder World has been able to model the city of Miami off of Miami by creating a one-to-one -one replica of the city. Miami is a protopia that has a futuristic vibe of an 80s Miami with a cyberpunk flair and a hint of fantasy. I don't know about you guys, but Miami really gives me Grand Theft Auto vibes, but with the added stakes of real money. The city will feature dynamic weather, meaning that there will be different conditions for different days. This adds a very realistic feel to the game in providing an ever-changing landscape. With the ability to roam around the city of Miami comes socialization, and what better way to incorporate that than with proximity chat. This will allow users to communicate with one another within a certain radius. You will be able to roam around in Miami interacting with other wilders. The way to know the way to know the you way need to have to Ebola. This is my new habit. So practice those social skills and get ready to make some friends within the metaverse. Oh friend! Wilder Wheels, bringing you the first of its kind drivable NFTs. In the form of minted NFT cars, 10,101 limited edition, fully drivable 3D vehicles will be made. As you know, they're not just going to be sat there looking pretty. You will be able to explore the metaverse by driving your vehicle. These cars are said to be fully customizable with attachable NFT parts like decals, turbochargers, spoilers and much much more. Each of these cars are also built for different purposes. So you will find everything from vintage cars, to street races, to classic collectibles, to quarter mile cars, as well as off-road vehicles to suit your fancy. The creative team has really done an amazing job in expanding the range of vehicles within the metaverse. Play as you earn racing is also made possible by racing other wilders across Miami. To push the boundaries of the metaverse even further, you will be able to race your car for pink slips if you dare. So if you've got the cojones to put your car on the line, then step right up. Can you imagine the mental turmoil you would go through if you paid for your car, modified it, only to lose your precious Eleanor in a race? You know you owe me a 10 second car, right? There would be some serious rage quitting that comes with that. On the other hand, think about what it would be like if you won an NFT race and later sold that car. I owe you a 10 second car. There's a new way to flip NFTs. Very much how Axie Infinity has indirectly become a source of income for its players by collecting and building their in-game characters, while the wheels competitive racing could mirror that business model. As a whole, crypto's play-to-earn gaming will create a whole new economy in which both rookie and amateur gamers can make a living off of online gaming, thus creating a new tier to esports. So whether you're interested in just cruising around Miami or putting it all on the line, one thing is for certain, while the world sure are racing into the future. Set for release in October, we have Wilder Cribs with the first land sales of its kind in Wilder World via an unreal estate auction for Miami apartments, condos and penthouses. Now this is something that has been massively lucrative in the metaverse space. We have seen the likes of Decentraland, Sandbox and Axie Infinity all selling land within their respective games. The city of Miami will have a high-rise CBD look to it offering condos, apartments, and penthouses for sale. In addition to this, land sales will be added after apartments are sold out. So if you're a fan of the big city life, then this is right up your alley. And if you're not, don't worry, because Wilderworld has something for you. 
Unless, of course. Cause I'm an island boy and I've been trying to make. Land sales will be based on proximity to certain buildings and areas. Distance and travel time will bring value to land within Wilder World. This is a similar property model used by Decentraland in which spawning points hold the most value and allows the market to regulate prices. In addition to owning your own property, you will be able to host your own bazaar or house party, making it truly your own. You will be able to throw a house party and charge an entry fee for it, as well as bringing your own DJ who can sell their songs as NFTs, splitting the profit with the homeowner. To top it all off, you'll be able to stream the entire thing live on Twitch from within the metaverse. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I definitely need to stop for a second to wrap my head around just how insanely immersive this open world metaverse is going to be. With the detailed level of functionality and gameplay offering so much depth. In addition to the cars and condos, there's also been announcements of bikes, yachts, pets, and aircraft being added to the Wilderverse. I mean, what is a futuristic utopian city without aircrafts, right? In addition to these playable collectibles, heists will be added to the metaverse in the form of games. Yes, you heard correctly, heists. So get your red jumper out and start putting a team together, because this is something you're not going to want to miss out on. Heist will be a recurring feature of the metaverse, offering citizens the opportunity to find rare objects in the city of Wyam. Does that sound familiar at all? Anyone? No? Okay. Wilder World are also working on a number of partnerships with many NFT projects and metaverses alike. The intention of Wyami is to have it be a central hub for many metaverse projects. With discussions currently underway to incorporate a board a yacht club as well as an Illuvium Tower. With interoperability among metaverses already being discussed, you can expect to see a lot more projects from the Immutable X family have cross-chain functionality such as OpenSea, Gods Unchained, as well as Ecomi and the VBverse. So stay tuned. Next we have the Metaverse Athletics that has just been announced via Twitter. While the world has brought NBA player Michael Carter Williams on board as their head of Metaverse Athletics, adding the boxing, basketball and American football emojis to the tweet. This could be an indication of what's to come in terms of sports being offered within the Wilderverse. With so many exciting additions coming to the Wilderverse, it seems like no matter what you're interested in, Wilderworld has an alternate reality for you. Yep. <laughs> Next we have Wilder Kicks which adds yet another layer to the metaverse, having already launched in September. Everyone loves collecting sneakers. The sneaker culture is a whole world on its own with so many celebrities, rappers and influencers investing in their sneaker game. I think it is something that really hasn't been focused on when it comes to the NFT space. And if Wilder World are able to transcend the sneaker culture beyond its physical form and into the metaverse, this could take sneaker culture to a whole new level. You could have, for example, exclusive Air Jordans being dropped in the metaverse before the release in the real world. And the only way for you to buy a pair of limited edition Jordans would be to purchase a virtual pair within the metaverse. They do have a fashion release set for November and I'm certain this will include character customization with the ability to buy, sell and flip NFT clothing. Heck, you might just be able to throw your own garage sale or open up a thrift store within the metaverse. So let's see what brands will look to onboard their fashion lines once Wilder World gets going. And with Nike having registered their brand and logo for virtual use, you best believe that things are about to kick off within the metaverse. So for all you sneakerheads out there, get ready to get wild. In a time where other platforms charge artists between 15% and 30% in artist or third party fees, Wilder World has gone in the other direction, charging zero fees to their artists. There's no middleman or platform taking a cut of the artist's hard earned money. This falls in line with the ethos of the project as a whole, placing the consumer as the most important piece of the puzzle. 
Along with that comes the liquid NFT market in which you are able to purchase fractional ownership of NFTs by owning just a percentage of it. This is a very unique model as most NFTs can only be owned by one person and most of the time the ones we're really interested in, well, they're out of our price range. This level of inclusivity is a very unique step that I would say levels the playing fields in terms of whales or NFT collectors cornering a piece of the market. And this is something that I hope becomes common practice among more NFT platforms. What fractionalized ownership will promote is the creation of clans or groups of users within the Wildiverse. The ability to streamline inclusive partnerships with other players will force an increase in playing time which is ultimately the goal of any metaverse. One of the major issues with some of the pioneering metaverse projects such as Decentraland was the fluctuation in actual game players. Most users simply purchase property or assets within their respective metaverses only to leave the metaverse and not participate in the game until it puts time to sell. By adding utility and solving ownership hurdles, Wilder World affords users the freedom of expression by promoting a circular gaming economy. Whether it be racing your car for pink slips, buying NFTs and property with a friend or two to hold on to, or trying to make it in the Metaverse NBA League, one thing is for certain, Wilder World has a niche to fit your reality. Oh my god! Wow! The final jigsaw to the puzzle is their collaboration with Zero to create their Wilder World social network. With this social network, you will be able to communicate with other Wilder users to purchase an NFT, make a sale, or set a meeting point to race. It is all inclusive in their platform. So welcome to the Wilder World social network. This is what it looks like. It has a very similar layout to Twitter. As you can see, there's the use of hashtags, hashtag art, crypto, culture, inspiration, and anything else that you want to search. Uh, you can post pictures, articles as well. And as you can see, I've logged in, little third, world, third world crypto over there. All it takes is your email address. So if you, if you are interested in the platform and you're looking to invest, then definitely go and make yourself an account to get social and speak to everyone else within the space. It's a cool way just to link up with people specifically that you know are interested within Wild World. This is definitely something that you would use when playing in the metaverse. I mean, it's a cool way to link up, to meet up, to say, you know, let's set up a race or let's go do a heist together. That kind of thing is pretty cool. So you got, a, you got your profile here with your basic information summary, personal info, Passion, skills, values. I haven't entered this as yet. I've just made the account. And then experience. And then you can put your investments down here. I saw a few people putting in some of the cryptos that they invested in. Some few people listed the Illuvium, Ethereum, few things like that. So that's pretty cool. So you can list what NFTs you have in case someone might see a comment from you or post from you and they'll check out your account and you know might just make a bid see so you could list in your portfolio it's perhaps the types of nfts that you own and someone can check out your account so it'd be like your personal gallery and then get in contact with you and ask you if you want to sell it maybe you have a ride that they want or a pair of wilder kicks so this is pretty cool i really really like the layout so you can see the community is just getting started people are looking to make use of the platform. It's very, very similar to what Twitter is like. So your notifications are up here in the corner. As you can see, it said two notifications and then some articles. So yeah, this is your basically your hub for when the metaverse launches. You'll be able to do everything through here. And I, I expect to see a influx of users, people actually making use. And for me, I can definitely see this used as a hub for sales or people just telling you what they're looking for. If it be specific pair of kicks, a house, some property, looking for someone to join with on a heist, a car, a race, that kind of thing. So it'll be pretty cool. You can set up everything from here and then take it into the metaverse, which is really, really awesome and gets me really excited. Also the layout's amazing. So definitely check it out, make an account, only costs you an email. If you like, you can add your wallet to it and then you can purchase some loot tokens as well. So pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think and go and comment.
While the world really have set out to integrate real world systems within their metaverse in order to make it as realistic as possible. Lastly in December we have the Racing Loop play to earn game to end off their roadmap for the year. This is such an ambitious end to the year so if they do stay on track with the roadmap and not have any delays then this is definitely going to be one of the most exciting projects in both the short and long term. First up we have the loot token which will be used within the game to run the economy and make it a fully functional society. To give you an example, this is very similar to what Axie Infinity does with their SLP or Smooth Love Potion token. You will be able to earn these tokens in-game and use it to purchase things or trade and pay for in-game accessories. You can think of loot as essentially the equivalent of Wilder World's core raw building material. Similar to how you require iron, ore or steel to cast an object in real life, staking loot is required to mint new NFT assets inside Wilderworld for everything from clothing to building structures within the metaverse. Next we have the wild token which is the governance token and if we take a look at the tokenomics we can see that there is 500 million total in supply which is very healthy meaning that it has a moderate scarcity level making the value slightly volatile. At the time of recording the price is sitting pretty at $4.06 per token with an all time high of $4.83 just a few weeks back. That is absolutely amazing for such a fresh new project and shows that there is massive potential for the future. The current market cap is $320 million which is moderately low and shows that it has so much room to explode as the metaverse is gradually formed. There has been a recent surge in price with the release of Wilder Wheels, causing an influx in buyers. With each playable addition to Wilder World, you can expect to see a bump in price as more assets become available to the public. And if we take a look at some other examples of metaverses and games, we can see the leader being Axie Infinity. Now they have a market cap of $9.4 billion, which is absolutely insane. Now if Wilder World were to be valued at only a quarter of that you would be looking at a $2.3 billion market cap and a 7x in value of the token. Which in theory is not too impossible for a project of this magnitude. So look out for the dips and get ready to hold. Given the amount of updates and platform integration that's set to come out not only in this year but also 2022 it is easy to see how Wilder World can possibly reach that size market cap if not exceed it as the entire metaverse industry grows. Overall this project looks incredibly healthy with so much more in the works in the near future. I personally did not expect to see such an ambitious project at this stage of the metaverse industry. In theory this seems like a third or fourth generation game, something that we would expect to see once the metaverse market has matured and established itself for a few years. The level of consistency shown by the developers as well as the ability to follow and execute their roadmap proves that the team behind it knows what they're doing. With the large industry players such as Epic Games, Anamaka Brands and the Digital Currency Group, it's easy to see that Wilder World are keeping the right company. The overarching consistency in both the product and service being offered really cements Wilder World's identity as a serious contender within the gaming and metaverse industry. The best way to describe Wilder World would be as a mashup of Grand Theft Auto meets Need for Speed Underground with a flair of cyberpunk. Where I would like to see some improvements from them is in their marketing campaigns. I think with such an amazing platform there is so much room to grow and so much potential for Wilder World to make a lot more noise and subsequently gain more followers. On a competitive level Wilder World seems to be ahead of the pack when it comes to reaching the goal of mimicking Ready Player One. The parallels that they have drawn with Need for Speed Underground as well as GTA Vice City coupled with their fractional NFT ownership really sets this metaverse project apart from the rest. The level of detail in creating an inclusive project that has multiple layers of attraction as well as low barriers to entry makes me feel confident that the future of gaming is here. With all that being said let me know if you enjoy this type of detailed videos, if you do then give it a thumbs up and I will gladly be doing more of them as well as updates on all the projects that I've covered thus far. 
I'm also going to be adding weekly metaverse news to bring you the latest news on the genre as a whole so that you can be more informed about where the market is heading. If you've made it to the end of the video then comment down below saying hashtag wild and let us know what you are most looking forward to doing in Wilder World. Also do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys for all the support thus far on the channel. As always, my name is Ubaid, signing out for Third World Crypto. Stay safe, stay sound, and I will see you guys on the moon. Peace.